Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I have an okayish rack, no duplicates. I can't see a seven with this rack. I think furnished would be good through an N. And probably a few other eights. It's the F and the U which are non-bingo-y. But I have a couple of scoring tiles in the C and the F, so hopefully I can play my way through this and get a decent score and a decent rack leave. I have, wow. Okay, I was saying wow because of the, I thought I saw an, I thought it was an L which gave me a bingo, but it was an N I was looking for. So do I have something with the L? I've got the F-U-L ending. Can't see anything with that. I have careful, but that would leave D on my rack. Can't see anything with the A. What about the D? Can't see anything. So, Kauf, C-A-U-F, would sort the rack out. But that doesn't play. I do want to play off the A and the U. The U doesn't go next to any of the tiles on the board, which I think is the problem. Now, clad is good, so I can play Korf down here for 18 points, and I think I will. I have Air Rated, which currently plays in row G because of Add, and also above the A. And it also plays in column 10 because Clade is good. I don't think Korf takes an S. I'll take this opportunity to check. It doesn't, so no hooks for Korf. Do I have anywhere else for air rated? It goes underneath clad as well as above it, so I have four places for it in rows G and I, but all of those may be blocked. What about a play through any of the floaters? How about the F? I don't have the tiles for Federate. That's three E's and one A. So I can't see anything through that. Now, what would I need for D Air 8? Another A. Okay, so I have D I'm not sure that's right. I think I would need another another E for D air eight. Another E rather. Great, and my opponent has kindly provided one. Having scored well with 86 points. So I come straight back with D air eight for 80. Is there anything better? I don't think so. No double double lanes available apart from through F and E. That would be quite a tricky one to spot. So D air eight for 80. Not great, but not as bad as it could be. I've got the X, which is a good scoring tile. No huge X spots on the board. I've got Ox, Z and Or. My P can go above the A. It's not, I don't have to play off the X straight away. I'd like to sort the rack out, so I'd certainly like to play off an O and an R, and that would be quite difficult with an E. Close to Explorer. I would just need one of my O's to be an E. Now, what about a play in column two, getting the X tripled? Again, I would need one of my O's to be an X to have Explore, so close, but not close enough. Just looking to see if I have a play across the top of D air eight, but I've got nothing to go above the T. Now I do have an O for going in front of F, but I don't have anything which goes in front of the U apart from another O. So I've got poo in that spot, or poor. Poor is quite interesting. But I don't really want to keep three consonants including an X because 
high scoring tiles tend to prefer to have lots of vowels. Now, 29 points for my opponent. He's taken my ox and z spot. I have very few x plays on my rack. I could play oxo. Do I have any xo plays? I don't. So I could play oxo, 30 points. That's not particularly fantastic. I could play picks, keeping duplicate O, duplicate R. That's also poor. Through an I, I would have prolix. I don't have that. So, a tricky rack. How about playing flexor? And I like this. It sorts out all of my duplicates. The rack leave is good. The score is good. And my P can go above the O. It's a volatile move. My opponent could have a Z to go above the O. He could have an S for bingoing in column 12. But I think this is the right play in terms of score and rack leave. And I am trailing. Pretty good. Balanced. No duplicates. I can't immediately see a bingo. I may not have one. F and P don't go well together. But now, beginning with an L, I would have Leapfrog. Great, just 21 points for my opponent. So no L for Leapfrog. Can't see anything in column one, which is a bingo. I, I have foraged, but that doesn't get tripled. So I think the, the tile I'm most looking to get rid of is the F, because that's the least bingo-y. So a play of fog would leave A, E, P, R, which would be pretty good. I could play fog and foo, but that doesn't score very much, and it's opening access to this triple word square, so I must be able to do better than that. What about... Well, I was going to play fop across here. O, A, not good. I do have fap in that spot. 32 points, decent score. Not the best possible Rackley, but it's an okay one. I'm keeping the E back for Clade. I'm stopping my opponent coming down with a massive column one bingo. Still both blanks out there. Is this best? So that's FOP. 30 odd points. Do I have a play going through this I? with an F or a P in front of it and getting tripled. So that would use six of my tiles. It doesn't look promising. No, I have Pierog, but that stops one square short. So I can't see anything better than FAP for 32. Not good. No scoring tiles, too many vowels. And that's part of the problem of my previous move. I kept a half-decent rack leave, but it was equally balanced in terms of vowels and consonants. The best rack leaves have a preponderance of consonants. And generally, I think the ideal is to have two more consonants in your rack leave than vowels. So, how to sort this rack out? I have Gooia on my rack. I wouldn't want to play that in row I because that would put an R in the middle of column 15. Far too easy for my opponent to score. So how else to sort the rack out? A play of Uri would also sort the rack out. Flexor slightly problematic in that nothing goes under the R apart from an E. So I could play... Rego, or Rigi. Rego probably slightly better because it splits up the duplicate O and doesn't open column 15. It's not, going to, it's not going to be a big score because it only involves one and two point tiles. So do I have a play beginning R, O, R? Well, only Raw and that stops short of the double word square.
one good thing about this board is that it doesn't provide huge scoring spots for my opponent and I've just noted that I am actually leading at this point always good great just 22 points for my opponent now I thought he'd provided me a nice a nice spot and he has in the sense that I can I have multiple words through the V I have groove ogive gov grove none of them score very much and all of them give opportunities to my opponent so can I do anything better I've got grieve 14 points keeping double O that's pretty lame what do I have under flexor so I have Rio let me see what Rigo scores I rejected it earlier 15 points keeping three vowels that looks barely better than changing and it's providing sc uh, several scoring opportunities for my opponent so I, I don't like that what about playing ogive better rack leave only nine points but this is better than changing and it's not providing a huge amount for my opponent and what it is doing is providing two spots and such that both of them can't be taken by my opponent so I'm guaranteed first access to one of them and this is obstructing a seven letter play ending in in S for hooking flexors and any bingo in row E is going to provide new bingo lanes and new floaters I'm going with this okay I have the Z usually a nice tile to have on your rack the Q less so there is a spot for the Q above the eye of ogive and I think that's about it wow nice bingo for my opponent 83 points he shoots into the lead and this is happening at a a tricky time for me since I'm not able to respond with a bingo on this occasion so do I have a good Z play I don't think I have a huge one so tempting to get rid of the Q this is quite a good rack if I draw an eye I would have Eero ties in column 13 and another reason for playing the queue is that I'm not seeing any big Z plays and my opponent may provide one so Chi for 11 I don't draw an I through an I I would have Theorize I have Hertz and Zo. what else do I have I don't have anything for going in front of double A but I do have an O for going in front of PE so maybe worth hanging on to the O for that reason opponent provides an I but not in the right spot for me 29 points so he's 90 points ahead I've still got Hertz in row E keeping EO Am I missing a big Z play? I have zero in column 14. I have zeroth on my rack. That doesn't play in column 14. I have ZHO in column 12, keeping tree as a rack leave. Let me see what that scores that's 39 points zeroth 41 points well 
I think Zoe has got to be better keeping open the bingo lane in row E. And simply on grounds of score and rack leave, I think Zoe is a better play. What about keeping the H? And just doing this. 37 points. So two fewer points. Does the H help this rack leave by two points? It improves the vowel consonant balance. It is synergetic with the other tiles. And I'm creating a new bingo lane in row B for bingos ending in D. And I'm behind, so I'm going with this. Well, not great. Just wondering if there is a bingo here. I'm not seeing one. No, I can see quite a few sixes, pether and threep. But not seeing any any bingo. But having kept the H back, I should have some scoring options. A new floater in the M, which is good. Although opponent has taken out a bingo lane. So I'm looking to play off H or P and at least one E. And I'm looking at this double letter square above ET where both of my scoring tiles can go. I wonder if I have a play through the I and the T. Unlikely. Through an I I would have Prithi but the T obstructs that. Now my H can go, in, can go in front of the M. What I don't have is anything which goes in front of the U. And I don't have any plays which are P something something H. Nine minutes on my clock, 28 tiles to come. And I'm not in great shape. So what about playing high? Keeping Peter. Quite a good rack leave. 21 points. Pretty lame. What about playing EH? What about playing PEH? 30 points. That's looking a little bit better. And although I'm burning the P, the P doesn't help this rack leave by 10 points. I'm going with this. Through an A, I would have Tree Lawn. I can't see any sevens. Still 25 tiles to come, and I'm less than a bingo behind. So there is still hope. I haven't seen any vowels other than an E for a while. And I mentioned that just because an O would be useful for HM and also PE. Wow, another bingo for my opponent. 63 points. He's now gone into a 110-point lead. Both blanks still to come. But the bingo lanes on this board are shrinking. So my priority for this turn is to play off the W. And probably the L. So I could play Wilt or While. Let me have a look at the remaining vowels. Seven out of 25. There are hardly any vowels left and that means Wilt is a better play than While. I need to hang on to my E's. Only one E to come. 22 points for Wilt. Are there any big W spots I've missed? I can't do anything with my W in column 15. I don't think column 15 is offering anything huge especially since only an E can go next to the R and there's only one out there. So that could be a spot for me with my two E's. 22 points for Wilt. Nice rack. Looks close to a bingo. What I don't have is many floaters to consider. Just the P of pay. 
and I'm not seeing any seven letter bingos. What I do have is a D for going in front of ZO, so I need to hang on to that and burn the B for score and try and stay within reach. My opponent ought to be just trying to outscore me, I think. Now my B can go in front of the E of Ogi. Do I have anything which goes after ZO? Well, my A does. So do I have any BAI plays? Well, I have Bern, which is worth considering because it preserves two of my vowels. It scores well. Wow, look at that. 44 points for my opponent. He burns a blank. Could well have the other one or could just be following the strategy of outscoring me, which I think he probably has done now, given his lead is 120 points. He's also taken my Bern spot. So is there definitely nothing through the P? Pre-bend would leave an A on my rack. Just not seeing anything. I do have a B for going in front of double A, but and an A for going in front of Ape. So, ten tiles left. What about just playing bar for 23 points? This is quite a good five-letter set, especially with row B. I'm only going to score two more points by playing off one more tile. And I think all of these five tiles are better than any four-letter subset of them. So is there a better spot for BA? Zoa is good, so I could play bar up here. But that's fewer points, and also with two E's out there, opponent could easily score in, in row A, so I don't want to do that. What about a play in column 11? Playing down onto the E? Well, I've got nothing to go in front of OU, so I don't have anything. And any play in column 15, reaching the triple word square, is going to burn a couple of vowels and just simply not be better than bar. I'm going with bar. Not good. No seven letter bingo ending in D. And I've drawn the second W. Remaining tiles looking quite bingo. My opponent could be about to hit me with another one. Eleven minutes on my opponent's clock. Five on mine. Yep, there goes another bingo. And that definitely secures the win for my opponent just one tile in the bag so the game is lost i just need to minimize the losing spread warm for 36 i think is likely to be the best available i draw the v so can i go out in one with the V. Wow, 45 points for my opponent. He's going out in style. He probably can go out with his remaining rack. He's got bias in row O. Does he have a second out? Not that I can see. Do I have an out? I don't think so, evened through an E, but nothing goes in front of Muni. I don't have, don't have anything onto the A. Then Jew goes through the U, not ending with it. So I'm tempted to play Vens for 10 points. I can definitely go out with the E. My opponent may not be able to go out with ABI, in which case I think Vens is the right play, or devs. So Vens for 10. Has my opponent seen an out? He's got 10 minutes to find one. And if he doesn't, what can I do with my E? 
So I've got we and as, seven points. Double E, just four. So I can't see anything better than we and s. So the alternative I was thinking about was devs. Which would be the same score and would have kept the n back. So would that have been better? I'd need to score more than seven points with the n. Where's my opponent play b14? Bar and Zoa. Okay, so I can't see anything better than we and S for, for seven. And the final score, 349 to me, 544 for my opponent, a winning margin of 195 points. So a big, big win for my opponent. Let's see what I missed. It was my opponent to go first. No bingo, he played Lad. No bingo for me, I played Korf for 18. I could have got 30 for Decaf, F6. Okay, pretty good, and probably a better play. Opponent gets 86 for Atherai, which was a great start for him. I have D air 8 for 80. And then opponent plays yen for 29 so I trail by 20 I've got this rack which was tricky and I play flex all for 32 horrible rack for my opponent he plays who j2 forage okay pretty good opening up column one but scoring a lot and decent rack leave instead I play fap for four fewer points and probably a, a similar or slightly better rack leave so I prefer fap Opponent plays Vi, and now this was a tricky rack. I didn't like Groove, keeping just vowels, so I went with Ojai, five fewer points, but keeping EOR. Is EOR five points better than EI? It's probably close. And Groove takes more hooks than Ojai. Opponent has tool set. And now he's a bingo ahead and I'm not able to respond with a bingo. I play off just the Q and I could have got 39 for Orzo. Keeping the Q. Tricky. Because the Q is worth only about minus 10 points. So in terms of score and rack leave, Orzo looks a much better play. But I just don't feel sure that it is. Certainly after Chi also remains available. Opponent plays Uicha. Now I thought about Hertz, didn't play it. Thought about Zeroth, didn't play it. And went with Zo for 37. And I still like that. The rack leave of WHRT is definitely 8 points better than EO. And I'm opening a bingo lane. And I'm behind, so I don't want to expedite the end of the game. And Hertz would have provided nice floaters for my opponent. In particular, the E underneath the double word square. Opponent plays Muni. And C4, Tempe through the M, quite nice. Keeping ER. I play Pay for 30, and I like that. Great bingo for my opponent. It looks an, un an unpromising rack with duplicates and eyes. But he has Suring and somewhere to play it. And now goes into a 110 point lead. Ren, E15. Ah, because of Taze. Okay, quite nice. I play Wilt for 22, keeping double ENR. I think Ren, probably a better play. Although it does take out a bingo lane. Opponent plays Gunks. 
Now, this was, I think, the closest I came to a bingo. I don't have one. I played bar for 23. Nothing much better. And my opponent has this fabulous rack. And plays coasted for, for 80, and he's now nearly 200 points in the lead. Mead, I don't like that, keeping NRW, so I prefer warm for four fewer points. My opponent plays yins, and now I have this rack, there is no out. I play vends to block my opponents out, and have I blocked it? Yes, he has no, no out. He plays bar, and then we and as is, is the best. So no, no missed bingos in that game for either myself or my opponent. My opponent had had the blanks and got some good bingos down. I kept up for a while with DR8, but then my opponent pulled ahead with some good bingos of his own and moved away to a pretty impressive win. So well done again to my opponent. I hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time.